What's up, everybody? My name is Godzi, and welcome back to another episode of Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. Last episode, we began Chapter 2, Part 1, as we met Ranger and Sophilin, the Miley's of this floor, I guess. Great. Uh, they are very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. And we have a strange gimmick, too. Actually, multiple. We have this hallucination meter, which is scary. Joe seems to be haunting Sarah, except it's not Joe. Uh, <laughs> and then we also have to get ten queer chips in order to survive, I guess. But the thing is, I feel like unless we partner with the weakest people at some point... They're not all going to get, um, get out of here. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Pop-ups fucking appear all the time. Uh, I feel like if we don't partner with the weakest people, they're not going to survive. You know? Like, we partnered with Racco. We probably should have partnered with Gin or Kana, but whatever. Let's do hide-and-seek sounds interesting. Hide-and-seek, participants 2, queer chip reward 2, difficulty normal. While hiding from the wicked dolls, pull 3 levers until they reach max energy to live. Okay, select partner. KG, Kana, or Alice? Okay, what are, the, what are the abilities? As KG, energy will not decrease over time. What does that mean? Okay. Kana. As Kana, rate of energy filling increases. Okay. Alice. As Alice, your prisoner intuition warns you one second before the enemy turns around. Difficulty easy. Ooh! <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. <clears throat> um, I feel like Alice is competent enough to save himself. But Kana might be also... I feel like just in case we're going to save. Let's do it with Kana. I guess. I've never done serious hide and seek before. I'll do my best. Okay. I get the feeling we're not gonna be able to partner with So. Also, I wanna what the fuck is up with So, seriously? <laughs> hide and seek begin. We'll start with me. Good luck. Um. Okay. Hide and seek rules. Touch the three levers to move to them and build their energy up to the maximum. Touch the rock to hide before the demon turns around. Sounds easy enough. Touching your allies icon will give you advice and a like, so good luck. Alright. Shit. Oh god. Okay. Got you, loser. Haha. <laughs> Alright, the laughter seems to indicate when he's going to turn around. No, it doesn't. I guess it's when he stops moving. Alright, that's one. Oh, what is that? Okay. Alright, yep, that's the indicator. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Ooh! There's another one. They're really starting to make this a little more difficult, huh? Alright, I guess Alice's power isn't that useful. Ugh, hi there. Nope. Also, nope. This is freaky. 
got it. Won the battle. Wahoo. Um, was I of use? I like how she has so many more sprites now. Well, everyone does, actually. Now, what's with these queer chips, okay? Obtain one queer chip. With that, this attraction's done. Sick. Nope, oh, negotiation time. Okay, we have Kana, Now, and Rako. Alright, one second, actually. Okay, so... Who would be most... Okay. Of these three people, is there really anything I want to know about any of them? I don't really know. Is there anyone that I'd want to help survive? I feel like Rako's competent enough to be able to survive on her own. Kana... We helped her get a queer chip. So maybe now. Oh, this is a double. Interesting. Sarah, you wanna tr wanna trade 20 tokens between you, me, and now? You're a short pitch. You see, I decided with Rekko that we'd trade 20 tokens each. But you know, gotta cross the shaky bridge together. For instance, we could pass 20 tokens like this. Me to Sarah to now. Or pass them the other way. Now to Sarah to me. This way, we won't have... We won't need to have extra trade partners in the future, see? So they're daring to trade them like this instead of an equal share. Sarah, wanna trade 20 tokens between you and you, me and now? Interesting. Okay, so what's Kana's pitch then? Uh, um, Sarah, it's not a trade or anything, but can we talk? Hmm. Your short pitch. So seems to have gotten tired and fallen asleep. I can only talk about this now while he's resting. Ooh, this might be important then. Don't tell me. Did you learn something important? I I'm sorry. It's nothing like that, I'm afraid. Huh. Come to think of it, I've never gotten to talk to Kana so calmly before. Kana just wants to chat with someone. Um, Sarah, it's not a trade or anything, but can we talk? Okay, let's... Let's save then, just in case. Because if it's nothing terribly important sounding, then I'd rather do the trade with Now and Rako. Let's talk. Let's talk then. Really? Hooray! I wanted to talk to you too, Kana. Sarah, uh, um, I'll pour some tea. I've never seen Kana so cheerful before. Maybe this is how she usually is? Before her, uh, sister was dead? Kana feels like she's been a burden for a long while now. Kana. Um, what's the best answer here? Because it's like none of these are mean answers. Well, that is. This is just dismissive. I kind of want to say this. Do you regret your actions? Uh-oh. Yes. Kana's a hopeless girl. On her own, she can't walk or even stand. You're standing and walking now. Doesn't that count? Sarah. Um, Sarah, you... You're like a warrior. Hmm? Like a samurai. I can see you with a katana. Well... I was in the kendo club in middle school. That makes sense, actually. <laughs> well, I knew it! If you were a senior at Kana's school, she'd look up to you so much! You must be so popular! Uh, uh, I mean, I did get a love letter from a younger girl once, but... <laughs> sure enough! A frivolous chat. An empty conversation that was just fun. I felt like I'd forgotten them for too long. Those peaceful, ordinary days. Kana likes how cool you sound, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, once I got to high school, I tried to cure myself of talking like this. Eh? Did you really? I mean, it was a little embarrassing, since most girls aren't quite so... brusque. Never heard that word before. But he... No, it's nothing. Sarah. You're just like my sister. Huh? Your strength and your kindness? But my sister... Wasn't always kind from the moment we met. The moment they met? I <laughs> guess I win? That's rude. <laughs> you aren't blood related? Kana, are you and your sister not blood related? Right. See, Kana's adopted. Oh. Okay. She came to her current family from an orphanage when she was little. So she had different parents, too. Mom and Dad were really kind. Kana was determined to always smile. Childishly thinking, I can't trouble them. And Kana's sister didn't seem to like her. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh! Finally, we're getting her name. So she's Kugie, okay. So she was one of the kids, one of the people on the board. Got it. Stop it, Kugie! Why do you do such cruel things? No, it's fine. Kana's not angry. She's not, really. Look, see! <laughs> we only saw, like, a picture of her once. So, I'm not sure what voice to give her. She looked like a Shamir-type character, though, so... I guess that voice? What are you always laughing for? Huh? You're creepy. I hate it. Hey, stop that! Apologize, Kugie! Even then, I kept on smiling. I didn't want to make Sister out as a villain. But one day, when it became unbearable, I ran away from home. <laughs> is that when you got the bucket? What is with the bucket anyways? I couldn't go home. I didn't want to. Thinking that to myself, I sat in the park with a bucket on my head and cried. Brat. <laughs> hey, what you doing? What's with the bucket? You're funny. <laughs> huh? You crying? Alright. How's that, eh? <laughs> what? I don't want updates <laughs> right now. What the fuck? I restarted my computer this morning and you're just gonna throw updates at me now. Great. How's that, eh? Look at me. Come on. Funny, right? <laughs> Voice, what are you doing? Huh? Oh. How dare you put a bucket on her head and tease her! Beat it, you! I wasn't teasing her! Liar! Kana's crying, isn't she? Don't be so cruel to my little sister! That was the first time she called me little sister. He's still crying. Sorry, sister. So you cry too, Kana. Kana, I'm sorry. Sister! Mom and Dad are worried, so let's get home quick, okay? Uh, okay! <laughs> Ever since then, my sister and I got along really well. I see. Found any blood relation. Kana and her sister got along really, really well. Kana? Kana, we'll definitely go home. Because she needs to tell Mom and Dad. Determination. <laughs> A kind of determination. Much too heavy for a girl her age to bear. I should be going soon. Some might wake up after all. Thank you very much, Sarah. Yeah, that felt definitely important, so... I'm not just gonna... <laughs> reload and do the, tr the trade with Now and Reko. Well, that's it for discussions. I felt like that was definitely important. Hi again. <laughs> Ugh, it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Gen? The two of us went and did an attraction, but I couldn't quite protect him. Big says Sarah! I'm okay, meow. Just a scratch, woof. But you're bleeding. Where? I can lick it better, woof. Would be nice to have somewhere to care for wounds. Er? Ugh, hi. God, you're still super creepy. Would you like to go to the medical office? Well, what do you want? Scram, woof! What? It wouldn't be good if the wound was left so faster. You've got no right to be worrying over me. Melon soda lady, meow! <laughs> Medical treatment for participants is just part of my job, you see. Hmm. Can't exactly believe you that easily. Or are you willing to take a vow, Safamin? I vow that I will cause him no harm. I won't go back on my word. Hmm. Can't trust her, woof! I'd be mad if he, she remodeled my body into some weird superhuman, meow. You'd be mad? Hey, that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> you do it if you want it that much, meow. <laughs> I won't force it upon you, but I definitely do think you should get treatment. What to do? She seems a lot more trustworthy than Ranger, almost as if she's along for the ride. I feel like the obvious answer would be, don't trust her because she's evil, but like, I feel like we just should anyways. Let's try trusting Sophilin. Hey, says Sarah! Are you serious, Meow? Yeah. She's about to do something bad, KG and I will protect you. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please follow me this way. This is the medical office. What's this place, Meow? 
Is it lead outside? Woof! Ah, no. Everything you see is outside is an image projected on the... Protected? Wrong word, I think. On the glass cabinets. An image? Yes! Currently, we're displaying a soothing tropical scene. How do you like it? Huh. You're right. It does feel nice. Feels like the AC's turned just right for it, too. <laughs> How observant. I actually manage this room myself. Serves as a laboratory as well. Uh, so can we heal Gavin? <laughs> uh, yes, the medical supplies are over here. Hmm. Oh, wow. He actually got a pretty bad cut then. Huh. Maybe Softlin isn't bad? Softlin's looking my way. Please take it easy. Okay. KG is tending to Gin's wound. It's lighter than I thought. Does it hurt, Gin? It doesn't, but I want to have Big Sis Sarah heal it for me, meow. Well now, got me in a sore spot. A wound like this should be fine just being washed in water and bandaged. Ah, I have a salve that speeds up cellular repair. So if you use that as well, it'll will more quickly. Sure, that's not dangerous. Do you have Neosporin? <laughs> Understood. Please take a look at this. Softly cut her own hand, making it bleed. And you use it like so on the bleeding area. See, it isn't dangerous, is it? Proving it with your own body, eh? Got it. <laughs> Maybe she is trustworthy? I don't know. It's weird. Because it's like, compared to Ranger, she's more trustworthy, at least. Compared to Miley, she's also more trustworthy. A first aid kit with medical supplies, okay? Gin and KG are talking in whispers. Mr. Policeman, Mr. Policeman. What's up? Is it okay to give Big Sis Sarah this, meow? No, better not give her that. I wonder what they're talking about. Um, do you have something for me? <laughs> meow, it's nothing, woof. Hmm, well, that's pretty suspicious. Just pretend that she didn't see, I guess. I don't know what he hid from me, but I'll pretend I didn't see anything. It's nothing, meow. Don't worry about it, Luff. Got it. I'll trust you again. Yeah! <laughs> well, we've treated again, so let's leave. All right. If you get hurt, please come back again. Thank you. Thank you. We'll make use of it again. There's no reason to thank her, meow. It's because of these guys we're getting hurt, Luff. Apologies. Let's go, you two. We left the medical office behind. I feel like I'm still gonna make a mistake at some point. Day one, night. We're on a pretty good track, I feel. Hi, Racco. Hmm? Racco's glancing at me to call me over. I wonder what it is. Okay, well, let's try talking to others first, quickly, I guess. Getting that wound healed me. Healed made me hungry, meow. So I ask for stuffed peppers. I hate peppers, meow. <laughs> outside these windows. Interesting. Hi, Racco. Sarah, can you come with me for a sec? What is it? I found a weird place. I wanted to show you before telling everyone. Weird place? Come on, follow me. Whoa. What is this place? I told ya. Weird, yeah? The most suspicious part is those stairs. There's a vending machine at the top. A vending machine? Wrong voice. A vending machine? Huh. A suspicious vending machine sits at the top of the stairs. There aren't any items this way inside. No price is shown either. Hm, the power's on. A vending machine with no clear merch or prices. That was its deal, you think? The bell acceptor slot is plugged up. But it looks like you can put in coins. Ah! Like tokens? Is this where that... Uh... Get out of jail free card is basically then? What should we do? Put in some tokens? Hold on a second. Mmm. Let's not? It has a 200. So I don't think we have enough. Might be a trap. Just touching it could be bad. Sure, but like, before the others come in and get all curious. T don't do it, Reko. In the end, somebody's gotta investigate it. Oh, she did it anyways. Great. Reko swiftly inserted a token. Nothing's happening. Maybe one token isn't enough? Hmm. Seeing as there's this number above it, maybe. 
You have to insert 200 tokens? Huh? Who's gonna earn that many? That better be one goddamn tasty soda. Maybe there's no need to worry about it. Got a point. 200 is just unreasonable. No problem ignoring it then. Oh, ain't that a relief. Let's ditch this creepy place. Oh, Racco. Hmm? I took the token she inserted from the return slot and gave it back to Racco. Hey, thanks. Now let's move, Sarah. Right. Maybe we can come back if we solve the mystery. Besides, it's about time I do an attraction. Fair point. So this is just off the lobby? Uh, long stairs, yeah. Huh. Oh, and the medical office is off of here too. Interesting. Hmm, hi Joe. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> Fucking... I was like, oh, what's that? Ah, it's Joe. Great. Um, let's head to the monitor room then. Oh, hey, Racco. Seems like this floor still got plenty of hidden areas. I guess so. Alright. Uh, next we have Runaway Minecart then, I guess. Runaway Minecart Participants 2. Career Chip Reward 2. Difficulty Normal. Get past obstacles that get in the way of the minecart and reach the goal within the time limit. Alright, who are my partners? Kutaro, So, and Gin. Okay, Kutaro. Kutaro Burgerberg. As Kutaro, your characteristic might greatly might greatly increase your attack power. Difficulty hard. I know, Sarah! If you partner with me, I'll trade 10 B tokens while we're at it. Hmm. So? Being nimble, the cart advances faster. <laughs> okay. Again. Increases the appearance rate of speed up icons. Oh. Well, this is not even a freaking challenge then. Uh, I think I should partner with Gen. Because I feel like he's probably got it the hardest out of everybody. Potentially. I'm gonna ride in a cart with Big Sarah Meow! <laughs> Alright. Runaway minecart begin! Okay. We can do this together! Now protect Big Sarah Meow! Runaway minecart rules. Ride in the minecart toward the goal, deal with the obstacles that appear on the way, and reach the goal within the time limit. Wooden wall, rapidly touch to destroy. Iron wall, mash on the screws to destroy. Bats, touch the danger sign to evade. Speed up, touch the speed symbol to accelerate. Okay. Touching your eyes icon. Yeah. Okay. Damn, you have to really hurt him, don't you? Okay. Oh, I have to do that. Got it. Alright, seems like five per. We're a little bit behind time, it seems. Big Sis Sarah, we're the ultimate team, woof! But charity stars too, meow! One for Big, Sa Big Sis Sarah, one for me! Obtain one career chip. Cool, so we have four done. With that, this attraction is done. Alright, negotiation again then? Yep. Okay, so what are the options this time? Gin, Reko, and Kutaro. Alright, let's see what everyone's pitches are. D 
but don't just straight up give me 30. Thanks to Sarah, I'll give you 30 tokens, meow. Let's play together, Wolf. Had an idea, meow. I don't want to trade tokens, but I thought of how to use them meaningfully. Whoever plays with me gets 30 tokens, Wolf. So it's not a trade. Thanks to Sarah, I'll give you 30 tokens, meow. Let's play together, Wolf. Sarah, want to trade tokens? How about 20? Hate to be doing what Ranger and company say, but I'm thinking of gather up tokens. How's it sound? 20 tokens ain't so many, is it? Hmm. Okay. Sarah, it's not a trade, but you want to talk? What do you want to talk about? Just one chat. You need breaks, right? A break, huh? Sarah, it's not a trade, but you want to talk? Hmm. Maybe getting personal info's maybe a bad thing? I'm not sure. Would it be a bad thing? I didn't think someone else would want to talk, you know? Alright, again, I'm gonna just do what I did with Kana then and save. If Rekos is anything important, I will keep it. Alright, I'll pour you some coffee. Thanks a lot. So, how you feeling, Sarah? Err. Exhausted, I think that's fair. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm exhausted. No doubt, of course it would be. We can't get rest for our minds or our bodies. Yo, Sarah, you like singing? Singing? Sure, let's say we do. I do. Both listening to it and singing myself. Oh, really? I've been singing since I was a kid. I got a lot of attention. Called me a gifted student in trade school. I'm grade school, rather. So you were pretty amazing even then. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Some weird guys approached me and got me making shitty songs I didn't want to make. I had a pretty long delinquent period, too. Until I settled with my current one, I smashed through all kinds of bands. Made trouble for Alice, too. Alice? Racco, do you know about Alice's case in detail? Nah, barely know anything. In fact, I didn't want to know. I acted like I never heard what info did come in. Honestly, it was a shock. Racco, I changed since then, too. Took a good look at myself. And I realized all over again that, yeah, I loved music. What must have happened? Yep. That's why my band now is precious. A treasure? I bet? Yeah! On the love of my beloved bongos. Bongos. <laughs> Come to think of it, you mentioned that when you introduced yourself. Huh? Yeah. You have an attachment to them? They're just regular bongos you can find anywhere, but... They're precious bongos like none other in the world. Well, anyway, enough about me. Tell me about yourself, Sarah. Huh? Uh, okay. I continued having an enjoyable chat with Racco. Felt like I came to know her a little more deeply. But whether that was a good thing, I don't know. We would be killing each other again in the main game. If I knew nothing, maybe I could be heartless. Sometimes I find myself thinking that way. Don't think that way. That was a blast, Sarah. See ya! Are they gonna do card rolls again? I wonder. Well, that's it for discussions. I felt important enough, I guess. I'm still not even sure how important it is to have tokens. It's gotten late already. Can't even maintain concentration. It's a call today. Good night. No Joe, right? Hmm? There's some commotion going on outside. What could have happened this late at night? Big sis Sarah! It's terrible now! What is it again? The old guy was killed! Woof. Mishima? Huh? Come to the monitor room, meow. The old guy? Wait, who? The monitor was probably smashed. Yep. It's... It's broken. This time, Professor Mishima's monitor is broken. What is this? The old guy, he's... Who would do something so cruel? No good. Seems the computer in front is just for booting it up. The AI was stored on the monitor itself. Ooh. Mishima can't be booted up anymore. I won't let them get away with this. So, you did this, didn't you? What? You're wrong! I would never do such a thing! Uh, um... Kana was with him the whole time. It wasn't so. Always with him? This late into the night? It's Kana's job to watch him, so... We slept in the same room. What? I was worried because she wouldn't let me leave. Though it ended up giving me an alibi, huh? It wasn't so? 
thinking it was probably now. Because it's like, just to make sure that she doesn't ever go back to see him, I guess? That would make most sense to me. I don't know why else anybody would hit, destroy the monitor, you know? I'm beat. Never run into a case with such an unclear motive behind the crime. Who's the first to discover this? That'd be this policeman here. It was you, KG? What was the situation? Ah, uh, well. Couldn't get to sleep, so I thought I'd have a chat with Mishima. When I came in, well, it looked just like this. Huh. Is that true? Yep. It's a shame. It really is. What's this? Why do I get the sense, like, KG is telling a barefaced lie? Um... Oh, hi now. Has something happened? Yeah, don't come in, woof! Huh? Professor? Now. <laughs> Someone did us in. I'm just gonna say dots. I don't know what I should say. Professor Mishima is... Um... Please, don't look for the culprit. What do you mean by that? Please let me be alone for a while. Meow? Hmm. No clues around that I can see. Meow? No bits of wood on the ground like when the other monitor got broken, Wolf? Bits of wood? Hmm. I don't remember that ever being brought up. So the person who smashed that monitor also hit So. If it wasn't So himself. Nope, nothing. So the evidence was cleaned up this time? This is one nonsensical incident. I'd love to solve it right away, but we need rest. Let's do a detailed investigation tomorrow. Asking Racco and Kutaro can wait till tomorrow, too. Mr. Policeman, you gotta find the culprit, meow! Right. We'll find out who it was, for now's sake especially. It could just be now. Day two, morning. Oh boy. Good morning, country. There's no indication that we're even in Japan, I guess. Okay, let's do this. Alright, no Joe on the window. Yep, I don't know crap. Hmm. It looks like Heiji's questioning her about the incident yesterday. This isn't any higher, okay. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't any higher because we saw him. Th is he always in here? I guess he is, huh? Alright, hi again. Can't talk to the old guy anymore. Woof. Nothing else to say. Okie dokie, I'll trust you. No, oh, Sarah, need something from me? Err. <laughs> Are you flirting? Learned anything? Nope, don't know a thing. It's a real pickle. Seems Kutaro doesn't know either. I'll keep up the investigation. See ya. Hmm. Maybe we should have partnered with Keiji at some point? Because if he's too focused on this, he's not going to have time to get clear chaps. Granted, it's Keiji, so he's not stupid, but we might as well help him, right? Ooh, he's gone. Sarah, I've got something for you. Could you come with me for a sec? Huh? Oh, there's something new here. Found something curious here. Something curious? It's hard to see in the dark, but check out that wall. That thing? There's a mysterious switch on the wall. There's a switch there. What's this for? Don't know, but there's an interesting note here. Above the switch are the words bonus attraction. Bonus attraction? Let's not push it yet. This time it could be a trap. Yeah, but bonus. It's curious, right? If you take it at face value, I thought, it might be worth betting on. Sure, but... Man, I can't ignore it when it's so intriguing. I'm gonna try pushing it. God damn it, Reko. Don't look so worried, okay? Step back, Sarah. I guess Reko's character flaw is that she just gets too curious and can't deal without knowing things. Reko pushed the switch. Uh-oh. With a loud sound, something moved. A door. Sarah, a door appeared! Is that... There's a piece of paper on the door. It reads, Room of Lies. Reward, six stars. Don't be fooled. If entangled by lies, you'll die. Ooh. Warning, the bonus will close once something, someone clears it. Room of Lies? It's a tenth attraction! What the hell's going on here? Shouldn't there be nine attractions? Yes, we heard that, but... And six queer chips! It's awfully suspicious, isn't it? 
Hey Sarah, did you check all nine attractions? Hmm? Specifically, how many career chips you get from each attraction? Out of the nine attractions, seven give two stars, one gives three stars, and one gives four stars. R right. And all the attractions gotta be done in pairs. Ah, uh, right. You notice yet? Yeah, there's nine of us. It's an odd number. A person can't re-enter an attraction once they've already cleared it. So each attraction will always end up with one person who can't do it. Ah, yeah, that's true. Even if everyone who can form a pair goes around to every attraction, the number of career chips we can get is 84. For nine of us to win, a win requires 90. So we're sure six. At least one person will die from not having enough. Six? Then if we beat this bonus attraction, it gives us exactly enough. Ain't no logic in avoiding this place, Sarah. If we hadn't discovered this attraction, someone would have died. Now it's just... who does it? Of course, I'll do it. But Reko! And who to pair up with? Well, so can't be trusted for shit. Gin, Kana, and now? Don't want to put him in danger. Kutaro probably needs compensation to convince. That guy's a realist. <laughs> what about Keiji? No offense, Sarah, but I can't trust that guy. He's hiding something. Okay. I feel like we're gonna have to do it, just to make sure it goes well. I'll pair with you. I don't even have to think about it. I'll pair with you. You can't do that, Sarah. Why not? You're overworking yourself. You've saved our asses again and again. I'm supposed to be older. I'm pathetic. I want to be equals with you, Sarah. It won't satisfy me to just keep getting saved. Equals? Hmm. Go with the most trustworthy? Lives are on the line. You should go with the person you can trust most, Reko. Sarah! I would do the same thing. You don't have to be modest. Got it. Then nuts to modesty. Sarah, can you be my partner? Of course. Hell yeah, I'm in your debt. Cause really, I couldn't imagine anyone but you. Let's beat this and come out safe, partner. I grabbed Racco's outstretched hand and gave him a firm handshake. Then the liquid trailed onto my hand through a gap in Racco's glove. It was blood. That was when I finally noticed. Racco had scratches and bruises in inconspicuous places all over her body. What? She had been pushing herself. No doubt she challenged the attractions to earn queer chips for the power west of us. Like Gin and now. Ah, she's just like us. <laughs> Seriously, Reko's such- Reko's gonna die now. Mmm, she's gonna die this chapter now. She's g I know I was told you can choose who dies, but Reko's gonna be an unavoidable death, I'm feeling. And surely there were more wounds on the thin hands within those gloves. Reko. What's up, Sarah? Forget it, let's go. Oh boy. Uh, just click the door. Room of lies, reward six stars. Don't be fooled. If entangled by lies, you'll die. Alright. I'm gonna save. Because it's... I, I'd imagine we could just go in and Rekko will die inside. Steal myself and enter. Let's go! This is the room of lies? Pretty dark. You there, Sarah? Yes. Let's look around carefully. There's a table in the center of the room. Is it okay to approach? I guess we have to. I approach and examine the top of the table. These are queer chips. And on the right is a rope? On top of the plate with the rope-like object on it, there was also a note. This is the web of happiness. In the final attraction, it may just save your lives. The web of happiness? That's astoundingly suspicious. Is it safe to touch? I guess we have to. Rekka, let's take the items on the table. Wait, in that case, let's do it together. Okay, well... Racco, you take the queer chips. Got it. Okay. I took the web of happiness. Huh? Suddenly the lights went out. Uh-oh. Racco? Sarah! Get away! Racco! Racco! What's happening? I reached for Racco's hand at once and grabbed it. Just run to the exit, Racco! <sighs> Are you alright, Rat? Reko's glove. Uh oh. Reko? She's still in the room of lies! The door is firmly shut. No! Shout loud. Reko! Heek! That's a 
sorry as shit! Huh? Are you okay, Rekko? Ah, uh, yeah, I wasn't scared. Something the matter, Sarah? Uh, um, as long as you're okay. Relax, I didn't drop the queer chips. Sure, sure enough, she has all six. I've got a cold sweat when I'm in pitch black. Don't you tell anybody I was freaking out. I wonder if she doesn't like the dark. I wonder what that was. You know, what was the lie part? Hmm. Are the queer chips fake? The lie is that there's a lie. The lie is that there's a lie? I wonder if saying there's a lie is the lie. Seriously? This ain't some trick question for kids. Hmm, what are we gonna do with these dubious queer chips? I was thinking I'd give them to somebody who's having trouble collecting them, but... Sarah, you need one? Huh? Look, I keep being wary, but you've got a right to have some. Should I ex accept this suspicious queer chip? We're not gonna die, right? Sure. We both are life and them for these. I'll take one. Obtain one queer chip. There you go. Hmm? Racco's hand. Wait, is this glove not yours, Racco? Hmm? What's that? Racco was already wearing gloves on both hands. Yeah, that's mine. Why have you got it, Sarah? When I pulled your hand earlier, I... Uh, pretty sure nobody pulled my hand. What? Then what's this glove? Hmm. Must be one of my spare gloves. You have spares, really? Yeah. Ranger put full changes of clothes in our rooms, remember? Though, I don't remember bringing this. I gave Rekko her glove back. Well, thanks anyhow. We should get going, Sarah. There's something fucked up with it, huh? The room of lies. Just what was it? And this web of happiness. What could it be? No use in worrying about it, I guess. Maybe it's about time to do an attraction. I wonder if KG found the culprit. Well, I guess we'll have to check. Again. Can't talk to the old guy anymore, Wolf. Alright, let's try going to the relaxation room. There are things here. Okay, actually, let's look. We'll just look around everywhere then. Ruined corridor. There's now. Even without the professor, I'm fine. How? I, I think I might want to partner with now for something then. Just in case. Oh, what happened here? KG is talking to Alice. What's that? Understand. Buying the personal info is the only way. What are you chatting about? <laughs> uh, so what you doing? Just doing a little questioning. Feels like I'm doing my day job, huh? No, not especially. Not too bad. What's that? I thought I overheard something totally unrelated to the monitor incident. They're trying to trade for shit, I guess. So and Kana. Awful, isn't it? Hmm. Prize exchange? So... These are queer chips. I feel like if we leave these here, someone else will buy them, you know? So it's like, I don't think we need them. Right? Victim video one. You know what, I kinda wanna see what these are. So I'm gonna buy them. buy things using other people's tokens, right? I thought you could buy these things using any of your own tokens, right? Yeah, I just 
just doesn't... I, I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Oh, well. Uh, let's just get out of here, then. Hmm. Okay. Medical office, anything here? Still just Joe. <laughs> um, let's go to the frickin' relaxation room, then, and try doing our thing here. Fly Swatter. Fly Swatter, participants 2, clear chip reward 2, difficulty normal. Your opponents summon enemies and swarm in attack, strike them down, and defeat three summoners to win. Alright, let's select a partner. Kana, now we're again. Hey! <laughs> so two we've already partnered with before, so I'd probably just want to partner with now. As Kana, the number of enemies summoned decreases. As now, the time for being attacked increases. That sounds pretty good. Okay. As Sarah Gin sometimes cheers to recover health, he'll also recover health if he touches Icon. Alright, we're gonna save them first. And we are going to partner with now. Understood. I'll try to meet your expectations, Sarah. Okay. Let's see. This is probably gonna be, uh, weird. Flyswatter, begin! Well, start with me. How courageous, Sarah! Hi. Flyswatter rules. An insect charmer will release many bugs, touch and defeat all of them within the time limit. Okay, that sounds easy, so just click them. Easy. Easy. Alright, that was not that bad either. Did I win? Oh, another summoner. Hi, hi. Okay, easy. Oh god. Okay. One more, I'd imagine. Yep, hi. Oh god. Alright. Oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, I got it. Okay. Got it. Alright, big one. Was not hard at all. <laughs> that was stupid easy. <laughs> A little stressful, but super easy. We've done it, Sarah. We made it back safely. Let's share the queer chips. Obtain one queer chip. So how many do I have then? Six? With that, this attraction's done. Alright, negotiation time. There is no one here. Never mind. There are three people here. Now, Kana, and so. Alrighty. How many does it show? I have six. Okay. Sarah, this isn't a token trade. Would you talk with some and I? Short pitch. If more or less gotten back in good health. And Sarah, I want to talk if you have time. The three of us, it should be safe. Sarah, this isn't a token trade. Alright, and then now? Sarah, um, it's about Reko. I wanted to ask you something. Ooh, this... Both of these are important! Sorry if I'm asking something odd, but... Hasn't Reko been acting strange? Huh? What do you mean? I don't really want to say here. Reko acting strange. This is a tough decision, dude. Okay. I feel like... Okay, so will be fine. Kana will probably also be fine. Let's talk with now. Good. I was getting a little uneasy. What do you want to ask about Reko? Er, can we move away a little bit first? Um, so... Isn't Reko acting strange? Hmm... Something's odd. Something does feel a little... Off. Huh? Like what exactly? Er... Her behavior, maybe? 
regard how's behavior. That's right. Something is odd about it. Looks like you're acting as if it's not happening. Rako seems somehow cold. There's something about her attitude. Has there been any kind of change with Rako? The Room of Lies. The Room of Lies? Yes, she didn't tell you about it? No, I didn't hear anything. Sure enough, that's odd. Shouldn't she have given out those queer tips from the Room of Lies to the others? Hmm. Um, Sarah! Did you know about the wound on Rako's right hand? Wound? Come to think of it. When I give Rako a handshake, a bit of blood dripped down along my hand. Really? Yeah. Rako must be hiding something. What does her wound have to do with it? Oh, actually... Oh, never mind. I still don't know what Rako was trying to do myself. Oh, wait. Maybe she punched the monitor? It's just clear to me she's hiding something. Hiding something? That's a secret. There's something she's shouldering for our sakes. Then I want to help her. Because we're friends. Now. And best friends already, huh? I'll help too. You two are friends to me too. I'll assist you now. Would you really? Thank you very much, Sarah. I'm glad I could talk with you. Well, that's it for discussions. Alright. Thank you, Taro. Sarah! Yeah, what is it? Well, sorry for scaring you. Just wanted you to come someplace. Come over to the ruined corridor, you hear? And don't keep me waiting. What in the world is it? Okay, let's go then. You're here! Nobody saw you, right? No. Where are we going? This is your passage! A gap in the rubble here. Can you fit through? There's a gap here? Where does it lead? <laughs> That's for you to see. Another secret room. Where is this? A machine emitting red light. Is this a computer? No good, it doesn't seem to boot up. Huh, you're late? KG? This way, this way. KG? Quiet. Try not to alert anyone to this place, just in case. Kutaro finally found it. Found what? Kai's laptop, of course! Oh! What?! Kutaro produced a laptop computer from behind the rubble. It was unquestionably Kai's laptop, the one we found on the first floor. You found this here?! Yeah, sure did! This laptop should have vanished from the first floor after Kai retrieved it. Why is it here on the third? Beats me. But there's no mistake, this is Kai's laptop. The possibilities I can think of are... Either someone collected this and put it here, or Kai put it here. Hold it, guys. Seek the truth later, all right? Sarah, Keiji, I called you over so you could break into this laptop. I can't use a computer for beans. <laughs> Investigate what's on it. Let's give it a shot, Sarah. All right. Okay, it's on. Please, get us some good info, anything. Wait a second. We should come up with a plan first for what data to look for. The laptop quietly booted up and displayed a password entry screen. Hmm, not good. The battery indicator. What? Shoot! It's still nearly drained! It's okay, I know the password. Some mention it in the main game. The password is Chidoin. My family's name. I entered the password. Password is incorrect. So, it's a fucking liar. I wanna hit him with this banana holder that I use to hold up my headphones. Password's wrong! What the? You kidding me? What's going on? Why? Either so lied to us or Kai changed the password. Ooh. So lied to us. So is our explanation a lie? Oh, calm down, that can't be right. It's because he hit upon the password that he discovered Kai was the owner of the laptop. Nah. Kai changed the password! It's the only explanation! What do we do? The battery's at 4%! Oh god. Sarah, I've been something only you would know. Only I? If I really had a connection to your family, I bet he'd use a password we couldn't guess. That doesn't really narrow it down. Your dad's name, maybe. I don't know. My family is just normal. There's nothing special to try. Hi. Just what were you thinking? Connection to me. Our family's got a hero in the shadows, Sarah. Entered another password. Starting up, welcome. Whoa! Nice work, Sarah! Alright. Dad, I just typed in Dad's name. 
<laughs> Did you know Kai? Battery's on 3%. What do we do? Email. Check the email so talked about. Okay. The email. The email log. So suspected Kai after reading those. We need to confirm whether those were real or all lies. I open Kai's sent emails. I see. As planned, 17 people have been secured. Just in case, is there no error in the date of the death game? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I feel a deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her and prepare to offer myself up for the Chidoans. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Chidoan, I will stand against even you as an enemy. Miss Sarah is looking forward to the game. Surely her friend will also take part. There they are. Yep. Exactly what so said they were. And so wasn't lying? Hmm. Wait, these emails. We just read them in reverse order. From the newest to the oldest. Oh. Sarah. There must be received emails corresponding to these two. Right, I'll check. I opened Kai's list of received emails. There. Sure enough, there were conversations over email. Sort them out. Rearrange them in the proper order. I sorted the emails and began reading. Ah. So tell us Kai's actions. Group emails number one. <laughs> hello, hello. Did you know Sarah's going to a board game meetup? Wonder if she's going alone. Oh, this is the dad, okay. Wonder if she's going alone. Papa's worried she might make some bad friends. And Sarah's looking forward to the games. Surely your friend will also take part. Kai! I never told you. So when you find out? I swear. About the only time I have any idea what you're up to is when you're there at home replying from your computer. Ah oh, well, keep up the guard work. Thank you a million. This is seven minutes. That's exactly how my dad types. So, your pops and Kai? We're in communication? Guard work? What's that about? Group emails number two. Kai, you betrayed us? Betrayed the organization. Betrayed me. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Chidoan, we'll stand against even you as an enemy. Unforgivable. It's all come to nothing. Just try and struggle with your puny arms. Hey, you kind of see me? It's not my father. In the context, maybe one of Kai's parents? And it says Kai betrayed the organization. Organization? Kai, just what were you doing? Group emails number three. Hello, hello. Feeling kind of in danger lately. Well, okay. It's Sarah they're after. She's being targeted. I've attached to this house, but I guess I gotta discard it and run. Will you come with Kai? I feel deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her. I'm prepared to offer myself up for the Oh, Kai. You really are the greatest hero ever. Thank you a million. Another conversation with my father. Dad knew that something would happen. Are there not email addresses? Can you not tell? Discard the house and run. Sarah, were you making plans to move soon, Sai? I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear anything. Settle down! Keep reading! Group emails number four. Are you to contact? You should know not to use this address. I'm here to report, but follow the rules from now on. This plan, 17 people have been secured. Just in case, is there no error in the date of the death game? Everything's proceeding smoothly. Let's see if you've done well. An almost futile effort. Thought you could pretend to be my contact and disrupt things, Kai? You're home right now, away from the Chidoan house, aren't you? I've got a tip for you. The phrase you just sent, X people has been have been secured, is a trigger that sets the plan into motion. You fell for the trap, Kai. Sarah Chidoan will be captured soon. Thank you a million. Yes. From the day of the kidnapping! What's the big idea? I'm not following at all! I'll sum it up. Kai was in correspondence with two people. One was Sarah's father, and the other was one of Kai's parents, who belonged to the kidnapper's organization. It seems Kai betrayed the organization. He chose to instead protect Sarah. And to do that, on the day of the kidnapping, Kai sent a fake email to the organization. Maybe the organization- maybe the idea was that it'd disrupt the organization, letting Sarah escape. But, his ruse was fully exposed. He just got used instead. Because thank you's a million was a sign-off used between Kai and Sarah's dad. The emails were going straight through. All of their exchanges went to the organization. No way! Then, then, Kai wasn't a stalker at all! He guarded me in secret to protect me! You're the only time Kai left his guard duty. It was 
But he sent emails from home! That's one crafty trick. Even after his cover was blown, I'm sure Kai was still trying to warn me. That night, coming home with Joe, that's why he stood in our way. Then I remembered what the stalker was saying. Don't go home. Ah. Mmm. Dude, Kai is such a good guy. What the fuck? The battery's gone dead. Couldn't get any info related to escape after all. But still, sure enough, Kai wasn't a good-for-nothing villain. Is that information really beneficial? There's still things we could check. If we can just get it charged, we'll boot this laptop back up. Sarah? You hold on to it, Kutaro. Me? Yes. For the time being, let's not tell everyone else about this. It's a secret weapon just for us three. Make sure you don't spill the beans. I gotcha. That's settled then. We should act just the same as yesterday. Yeah! I'll hide the laptop in my bedroom and go do an attraction or something. We should get going too. Yes. We left the rubble-filled room. Okay, day two, noon. Huh? Kana is alone? What happened, I wonder? Hmm. Can I actually talk to her? Well, I think instead I'm actually gonna end this episode here. Shit's getting really interesting. I say that probably every episode, but it's true. It is getting very interesting. And I'm also p terrified of what's probably going to happen. I think Reko is more than likely going to die this chapter. Like, regardless of whether I can actually pick who dies or not, I think Reko's gonna die regardless. If they do card rolls again, she's probably gonna be sacrificed. That's just my guess. <sighs> and then... We could choose someone else. I don't know why we would. And I'm still wondering what's up with Gin in that first, uh... scene in this chapter. Not to mention the theory that I'm crafting about him in my head. I didn't get any new information about that today, but the second I see new evidence that contributes to my theory, I will bring it up. I will. I will give a hint, though. I will give a hint as to what I'm thinking about Gin. Something about Gin that should be horribly obvious and not even possible to be questioned, I think is a lie. Something that everyone here, as far as we know, believes wholeheartedly about Gin. I think it's a lie. What that is? Well, you have to think for yourself, I guess. I'll only go over it if I see any more evidence towards it. Because there is a potential confound to it. There is a potential contradiction. However, I think just due to the wording of that contradiction... I do have a workaround for it. Granted, that could also be used on anyone else on that side of the two, but still. Still, you know? And it can only be used on that side also, as opposed to the other side. So it's like, one group of people could be in the second group of people, but a different factor puts them in the first group, you know? Whereas, if that factor didn't exist, they would be in the second group. I feel like that's enough of a hint. <laughs> There's something very obvious about Gin that I'm doubting, but... Either way, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, be sure to press the like button, and if you didn't like it, then fuck you too. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos and stuff. And as always, my name is Godzi, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!